Okay folks, I thought I'd have a go at Laser Saber's dual ringer circuit and this is my variation on the idea. Uh, I've incorporated ideas from Peanut Butter as well, which is the use of a mains transformer for the coils. L1 would be the 12 volt winding and L2 would be the 240 volt winding. Laser Saber went uh, from the base through the uh, L2 coil and the load to the negative. I've gone the opposite way and gone to the positive. My load is an LED bulb and it's non-conductive at the input voltages I'm using. And this is uh, an LED for protecting the base emitter junction. Now this is uh, the basic circuit and uh, to start it you may have to tap this wire onto the positive. But to simplify things uh, starting wise it's better to add this here which is just uh, a 1k resistor and a 22k variable pot and that will self start every time and you can adjust the brightness of the bulb so uh, that's basically about it now the first thing I want to show you is this is the bulb I'm using and it's on and it's being driven by the mains at the moment and people are using light boxes and stuff to measure light output and uh, I think the easiest way I found to do it was to just to get an LDR a light dependent resistor tape it onto the front of the bulb and uh, I've got this connected to the mains now and my ohms meter says it's uh, 41 ohms with the, uh, with, the, with the mains mains power so if I can replicate 41 ohms using the dual ringer circuit that's basically uh, mains brightness so it's what I'll do now is I'll take this bulb out and put it onto the dual ringer circuit do with one hand. Oh, God. Right, so basically I just run through the setup I've got on the table. So we've got uh, this transformer and it's quite a big one. It came out of an old transformer, well power supply for a CB radio and I've used quite a few today. I've used this one here. This is slightly small and uh, this one was very good for running bulbs in series uh, every transformer I've tried has had like a different uh, you know uh, trait basically uh, this is very good for running sing single bulbs this was good for running uh, bulbs in series this microwave oven uh, transformer was uh, good for running them in parallel so each transformer had a different uh, characteristic so uh, I'm sticking with this one for today's test anyway and it's a center tap transformer, so it'll probably be good for uh, XE's uh, dual ringer transformer kind of circuit. But uh, I'll switch it on now. And we're running at, is it? It's 10.75 volts. And we're drawing 132 milliamps. And the, the resistance is lower than the mains voltage. So that bulb is actually brighter than the mains. And we're drawing 133 milliamps at 10.75 volts. So that's uh, brighter than the mains. Now I can increase the brightness with this variable resistor here. And I'll just move that and you can see the ohms meter coming down. And this is a handy little uh, way of just checking by any difference, you know, any changes to your circuit that you make. Is it actually making a difference in the light level because it's hard to make a uh, judgment just using your eye but using an LDR a light dependent resistor strapped to the front of your bulb you can see so that's nothing groundbreaking here but I uh, just thought that would be handy there uh, for people who are experimenting and want to see if any things they uh, any changes they make to their circuits actually makes a difference because it's hard to see with the naked eye Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.